Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to your first look at Kinetics 2020. We are thrilled to have you with us tonight. Um, before we get started, uh, just a quick word of thanks to all of our members, all of our donors. If you're watching tonight and you are uh, a supporter of the gallery, please know that we are uh, eternally grateful for all of your support and all that you make possible here at the gallery. Um, tonight, we're going to take a look through the gallery and give you a very first, your very first look at more than 30 works that will be up for bid as part of Kinetics 2020. Um, if you're not familiar with what Kinetics is, this is our annual fundraiser. Normally, this is an in-person auction. It is a live, fast-paced auction that happens here at the gallery every November. Um, and Kinetics is really a night that makes so much possible throughout the year. Uh, it's a night we look forward to. It's a night that's a lot of fun. Um, and this year will be no different in that respect. It'll be different in some other respects in, in how we approach it, how we handle it in a virtual world um, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but we'll walk you through every step of that tonight. If you have any questions while we're going through, please feel free to throw them in the comment section. We'll do our best to answer them uh, here on the feed tonight. Um, so if you're not familiar with Kinetics, again, it is a live auction. We will have works from uh, more than 30 of your favorite BRG artist members, local artists, regional artists, um, paintings, photography, sculpture, you name it. Um, and you'll get a look at it here tonight. Um, I wanna say a quick word of thanks to our sponsors. We are thrilled to have with us again this year, uh, Hancock Whitney as our presenting sponsor. So our thanks to Hancock Whitney for all of their support. I also wanna say thank you to John G. Turner and Jerry G. Fisher, Stephen Reedlinger and Ann C. Wise, uh, Carbo Landscape Architecture and Lamar, also sponsoring this year, Emergent Method, Icon Construction, Coleman Partner Architects, Breck, Finally, Stun Design, Success Labs, Perkin McKenzie Insurance, Lady in a Tie, and Renee Daigle. Thank you to all of our sponsors who helped make this year's Kinetics possible. And uh, in previous years, many of these sponsors are back with us. So we're thrilled to have their support yet again. Um, so like I said, uh, tonight we're going to explain a little bit about what Kinetics is, how this year is going to be a little different, how we're going to handle Kinetics uh, 2020. Uh, and then we'll walk through the gallery and give you a chance to see all of these works in person. One thing that's really cool this year is that the works are up for display, up on exhibit for much longer. Normally, Kinetics happens a little bit earlier in November, but because of how we're handling Kinetics in this virtual realm, we're going to be offering you the opportunity to come all month long up until the 20th and see the works actually in person. So you can come uh, any day but Monday between noon and six and see every single one of these works up close in person, in addition to seeing them online. Uh, BatonRougeGallery.org slash Kinetics. You'll see a link there where you can see every single one of these pieces uh, for yourself. Um, there are a few different steps this year. Step one, the most important thing you can do, if you would, when we finish up here tonight, the thing we'd love for you to do is register. It is completely free. It is easy. It takes just a couple of minutes. Um, registering for Kinetics is step one. You can go to BatonRougeGallery.org slash Kinetics and register for the, uh, the big event right there. Uh, simple information. It will ask you for your credit card information, though you will not be charged a single dime unless you win an item uh, during the auction. And you will not be charged until at least November 20th. Uh, so no, no need for worry there. Second step, the thing that we'd encourage you to do is come by the gallery. Like I said, the gallery will be open every day but Monday from noon to six, completely free to come and enjoy the gallery as it normally is, in part because of the support that the gallery receives during Kinetics, um, and see these works for, uh, for yourself. You can see them also online. You'll also have the opportunity to see them for yourself uh, in the auction platform that you'll sign up in when you register. Uh, but certainly seeing them in person on the gallery wall is a whole different experience than seeing them uh, on a computer screen. So please come by if you can. Those of you who might be joining us uh, from outside of the Baton Rouge area, let's say it's not possible for you to get by here uh, ahead of November 20th. We invite you to see the works online, but please get engaged, be a part of Kinetics, bid on these works. This is something that is new for Kinetics. Normally it's only open to people who are here the night of Kinetics. The fact that we're in a virtual world means that you in Tennessee, California, Colorado, wherever you might be, you have the opportunity to be a part of Kinetics tonight or, or this month. 
Um, step three, something else that is new to Kinetics this year is you can bid early. Normally, again, Kinetics is a one night event. You only have the opportunity to bid while you're here. Um, bidding is now open. As of today, you can start bidding. Every single piece in Kinetics, one of the things that makes Kinetics great is that everything starts at $100 and goes up from there. But with this new Kinetics in 2020, this new virtual version of Kinetics, you can start bidding right now. Um, you can bid early, you can bid often, and you can go ahead and see, like I said, everything up for bid. Then on November 20th, when Kinetics starts, when the actual program starts at 6.30 p.m. on November 20th, we'll have a program that will introduce you to a, a behind the scenes look at some of the artists of the gallery, volunteers, different folks who have made the gallery such a special place in Baton Rouge for more than 50 years. Um, and that will lead into a live auction with Brian Faroo, who's been our auctioneer at Kinetics for a number of years. Many of you uh, familiar with him and come to love how he handles the auction. Uh, and he will pick things up with wherever the bidding is on individual items. So if there's a piece that has bidding at $500 through the course of the online bidding uh, process, then he'll pick up the bidding there during the live auction. Um, and then he'll walk it through until we can bang the gavel on each individual piece. Um, again, those of you who are outside of the Baton Rouge area, you have a unique opportunity this year to be a part of Kinetics. Keep in mind that if you require shipping, we'll, have to, we'll work with you uh, after the fact to get work shipped to you and make sure that they are done so safely and as cost effectively as possible. But obviously, uh, you'll also have the opportunity to pick the works up from the gallery if you'd like. Um, I mentioned that every piece starts at $100, which is uh, kind of one of the bread and butter features of Kinetics. We're really excited about that. Um, and I also want to mention, uh, for those of you, especially those of you who are not familiar with Kinetics already, what does that make possible? What does this event do? Uh, Kinetics is the only fundraiser that Baton Rouge Gallery has every year. Uh, normally, the success of this night allows us to do so much throughout the rest of the year. It allows us to focus in on the exhibitions, the programming, uh, the things that Baton Rouge Gallery does to add to the arts in Louisiana's capital city. Uh, so when you are bidding on individual items as part of Kinetics, if you are making a donation, uh, an outright donation, a gift to Kinetics or during Kinetics, know that you are doing something that makes art possible here in Baton Rouge. It makes it possible for thousands, literally thousands of people in your city, in your community to experience uh, contemporary art, to engage directly with artists who are of this community, who may be from this community. Um, and it really makes a wealth of experiences possible, connections between artists and an audience, um, and supports an organization that's been a part of Baton Rouge's creative community for more than 50 years. So we're really excited for this year's Kinetics. We hope you are too. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments section. We'll do our best to answer them uh, here tonight. But before we take a walk through the gallery and show you all of the individual pieces that will be up for bid uh, as part of Kinetics 2020, I am thrilled to introduce our brand new development director, if you would, everybody, Francesca Vega, Baton Rouge Gallery's newest development director. Say hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, so glad to be joining y'all here tonight and uh, really looking forward to helping Jason talk about each one of these pieces. and. Uh, hopefully start some bids. I think uh, we already started some bids online even before this happened. So I'm uh, really excited to see what we do this year. Yeah, you're, you're, if you haven't jumped into the bidding yet, uh, you're late. There's a few folks who have already gotten the ball rolling, so we're excited for them. Thank you to everybody who has already jumped on board uh, and, and gotten Kinetics rolling. So we'll move through the gallery. Uh, I know everybody's kind of uh, watching maybe other feeds on social, social media that might be talking about um, what other people might be winning in other states or across the country. Uh, but tonight we've got 30 plus different prizes that you can win. Uh, so I hope you'll, you'll keep your attention here and, and join us as we walk through the gallery and talk about uh, some of the different artworks that are up for bid. First up, first up from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana is Craig McCullen. Craig is a stained glass artist. Uh, this piece is called Deep Deep Yonder. Uh, Craig creates work that is both imaginative and whimsical. He owns Huju Glass Studio and Art Gallery in downtown Lafayette. 
He's completed works for the New Iberia Catholic High School and our Mother of Mercy Catholic Church in Rain, Louisiana. It's the gorgeous blue glass, which again, you may be enjoying it on your screen, but if you come and see it in person, it's, it's a whole nother experience. And again, every piece starts at $100. So please come by and see these pieces and get ready to, uh, once you register, of course, get ready to jump on uh, making your first bid for Kinetics and for this piece from Craig McKelvin. I forgot to correct you, it's Lafayette. It's oh. Somebody who's uh, lived there. <laughs> That's Baton Rouge local. You must think of. That's a really nice piece. Uh, next up is a piece by Kelly A. Mueller, the Aklosky Bridge. It's acrylic and mis mixed media on canvas, um, about 42 by 36 inches. Uh, Kelly's originally from Chicago. She teaches art at Lusher Charter High School and lives in Mid-City, New Orleans. Um, often large and textural, her paintings and drawings center on the tension between natural forces and systems and the human tendency to subvert these systems. All right, next up is a round piece, 30 inches in diameter from Matt Morris called Alpine Doe. Matt is a mixed media artist who explores relationships between nature and technology. His most recent work combines uh, is a combination of media presented as a photographic print that is intended to blur the distinction between perception and reality. All right, next is Van Wade Day, uh, Camellia Autumn. This is mixed media on glass. Um, she has been living and working in Baton Rouge since 1976 and has exhibited all over the United States from Detroit to Nashville and also, of course, Baton Rouge. Uh, she's been an artist member since 1988 here at the Baton Rouge Gallery. Ben's a longtime artist member here and the fact that that work is on glass the way it is is just incredible. Next up is Michaeline Walsh, ceramic artist. This piece is called Popsicles. Uh, the winning bid will take home both pieces, so this is kind of considered one piece. Uh, her love of animals, dolls, and whimsy is reflected in her work. She claims her interests are driven by the inner life the subjects seem to possess. She's fascinated by their ability to both haunt and enchant both children and adults alike with an ambiguous presence. You may also, if you, if you see this work as somewhat familiar, you may be uh, thinking of her recent installations at the Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. These are great, really fun pieces. And somebody has actually already bid on this one. Oh, nice. Uh, next is Mary Lee Egger. Uh, her piece has also been bid on already, um, titled Disruptive Coloration Mockingbirds. This is a colored pencil and watercolor. Um, her work often focuses specifically on avian wildlife and other natural forms. She has an affinity with late medieval artists who portrayed accurate, carefully observed animals while simultaneously expressing a spiritual message with them. Next up is James Burke. James Burke is uh, the only artist member uh, at Baton Rouge Gallery who is uh, one of our founders. He is the only founder of Baton Rouge Gallery that is still active. Uh, he's been a part of the Baton Rouge Gallery since its very first days in 1965 when it was still called Unit 8 Gallery, and then since 1966 when the gallery was incorporated as a nonprofit. Um, he is a professor emeritus at LSU, Louisiana State University, and works both as a, a painter and a printmaker. This is a popular corner. All, all three <laughs> of these have already been bid on. And I mentioned earlier about our sponsors. Thank you again to our Spark sponsors, Coleman Partners Architects, Icon Construction, Emergent Method, and of course, Brett, who we've been honored to partner with since 1984, calling City Park home. So next is Jessica Sharp, uh, titled Continual Becoming. This is a mixed media piece. She's a sur surreal mixed media and installation artist. And she's been with the Baton Rouge Gallery since 2013. She currently resides in Jacksonville, Florida, where she maintains a daily studio practice while raising her son and meditating on eternal truths. She's also a member of the Squawk Works 
a collection or a collaboration with her husband, who is a landscape architect. Next is Frankie Gould. This piece is titled I Am a Lover. It is acrylic on graphite or acrylic and graphite on paper, measuring 12 by 16 inches. Frankie works in acrylics, colored pencil, mixed media, watercolor, scratch board, block prints, and sculpture. So she is not afraid of experimentation when it comes to media. Uh, you might see her work in the collections of Buena Vista College, Sheldon Memorial Art Gallery, and the University of Nebraska. And in addition to being an accomplished artist, uh, she is also the Director and Professor of Communications and Public Relations at the LSU Ag Center, which might explain the subject matter of her work. All right, then we have Scott David Finch, Still Life on Head, and Trixie Dance, uh, Mixed Media. He's been featured in the Critics' Choice Exhibition at the Dallas Visual Arts Center, the Flesher Arts Challenge, and the Flesher Art Memorial in Philadelphia, as well as the Gulf South Regional Artist Exhibition at Bridge uh, for Contemporary Art in New Orleans. These works were actually on display when the gallery closed earlier this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so it's really nice to have them back in the room. And also, not only do you win both of these pieces if you have the winning bid, but you also get a copy of this book, Cheer Charm Life, which has stickers um, and just continues the, the works that uh, are of this series of, of Scott David Finches. Next up, Judy Betts. Judy is a longtime Baton Rouge Gallery artist member. She's been with the gallery since 1969. Uh, Judy has won uh, numerous Lifetime Achievement Awards from the National Watercolor Society and the American Watercolor Society. Uh, a highly respected painter, instructor, juror, and author. She teaches internationally, uh, teaches workshops uh, in Scandinavia, uh, I believe across Europe and the United States as well. Um, it's been a, a pleasure for us to call her one of our own for a, a very long time and, and great to have this piece uh, as part of Connects this year. Really a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nani Adlaken, uh, titled The Purity Collectors. This is stitched collage on handmade paper overlay. Uh, Nani's most recent work has been deeply inspired by her experiences as a child, uh, raised by an agrophobic aunt and her working mother. While her mother worked as a waitress, she spent a great deal of her time with her aunt, who was unable to leave her home due to mental illness. Looking back on this experience, she muses, what could have been a cat catastrophic environment was instead turned into a world of magic realism. And again, just to say a quick thank you to our sponsors. These are our Ignite sponsors. John G. Turner and Jerry G. Fisher, who we can't say enough about, are, have been so uh, giving and generous to the gallery over the years. Uh, also, Carbo Landscape Architecture, our friends at Lamar Advertising, and uh, Stephen Reedlinger and Ann Wise, all incredible, incredible supporters of both Kinetics and of Baton Rouge Gallery year round. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Our next piece is from Leslie Elliott Smith. The title is Uneven Ground, it measures 18 by 18 inches. Uh, trained as both a printmaker and a painter, Leslie employs techniques from both these art, form, art forms in her work um, since 2010 as a photographer. Whether shooting on location or in the studio, instead of using her lens to capture a single moment, she chooses to invent scenes, combining multiple images to compel the viewer to suspend reality and investigate the imagery. Which you'd have to do in appreciating that piece. Rosemary Girdle, Ode to Thing. This is a monoprint. Uh, Rosemary was born in California. She studied at the Museum of Fine Arts School in Boston. Um, UCLA and received her BA uh, Phi Beta Kappa in art and MA painting from the University of California, Berkeley. I know some folks who already have their eye on this one too. And all of those are individual pieces that are uh, painted and then printed, run through a printing press um, to create that image. So this is a monoprint. It is one of a kind. There is not another one like it. So. If this piece is speaking to you, make sure you get your bids in now. 
And as we make our way into the hallway, get your Baton Rouge Gallery swag. <laughs> the next piece is from Randall Henry, one of our longtime artist members. Randall has been with Baton Rouge Gallery since 1985. He's a professor at Southern University um, and easily one of the most respected artists in Baton Rouge. Um, this piece is Mixed Media Collage on Canvas. It's titled Mind Games. Uh, his Mixed Media Collages showcase his approach to making collages that involve the use of improvisational methods of playing with shape, color, and pattern, with influences from abstract expressionism, cubism, and African and Asian art. Randall explores dreams through his surrealistic collage images. Okay, next is Anne Boudreaux, Becky Post. This is mixed media collage on paper. Anne is a native of New Orleans and currently residing in Lafayette, Louisiana, where she makes art and teaches for the Lafayette Parish School System's talented program. She's also a good friend of mine. <laughs> Anne's a good friend of everybody. <laughs> Anne actually was a, uh, a former director here. She had my chair before I had my chair. Anyway, hi Anne if you're watching. <laughs> um, next up is Libby Johnson. Libby is one of our newer artist members. Um, though certainly has been, a, was actually a part of Baton Rouge Gallery years ago and, and has come back to us. Um, so this is her first time being in Kinetics. Uh, we're thrilled to have this piece with us uh, for this uh, auction. The title is Gloaming. It is oil on panel. Uh, Libby's a painter who uses realistic depictions of nature as a foundation for expressing thoughts, mysteries, and feelings that are intertwined with those images. She uses oil paint because of its organic quality and intense but natural colors. Next is Linda Jeffers' piece titled House Calls. This is mixed media. Uh, Linda is known for compelling construction, sculptures, and assemblages, which depict current events, pop culture, and personal events, as well as lives and works in Baton Rouge. Oh, she lives and works in Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that. And Linda has started to, to do more in the way of abstract landscape painting. So this is uh, speaks back to work that she's been doing in recent years. And I know a lot of folks in Baton Rouge really enjoy her mixed media sculpture and, and found object work. Next up is Marcus McAllister. Marcus is actually our only uh, international artist. Marcus lives and works in Paris, France. Uh, his family is from and still lives in Arkansas. Um, but Marcus, we're thrilled every time he gets to come to town. This piece is called Interferences, Acrylic on Canvas. Uh, his work focuses on sublime, dreamlike fragments coupled with the state of the everyday occurrences of life. McAllister follows a systematic pattern of images externalizing his own thoughts and emotions. And I'm happy to say that Marcus uh, made it through about COVID-19 earlier this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's had an interesting year, but we're thrilled to have him as part of Kinetics this year. Okay, so as we make our way into the back gallery, next up is Eleanor Owen Kerr. This piece is titled Spring Pruning. It's a silver gelatin print toned in selenium. Uh, Eleanor's photographs are her black and white pictorial response to the natural world. Her photographs explore a nature that speaks simultaneously of ephemera and permanence, passages and sanctuary, reflections and revelations. They're signposts, reminders, and guides to the experiences possible when we are truly still. And Eleanor actually studied with a, an accomplished photographer, Paul Caponegro, um, and takes many trips to Maine, uh, where you might see uh, some of the imagery come from in, in her work. But truly a gorgeous piece, framed beautifully. So thank you to Eleanor Owen Kerr for being a part of the gallery and for being a part of this auction. And again, I should, we should mention, we should reiterate the fact that every piece you're seeing tonight, every single piece starts at $100. So they go up from there, but you have the opportunity to jump in at a heck of a price. So this one's also framed uh, very nicely. Kelly Scott Kelly's Into the Storm. This is acrylic on paper. Um, Kelly Scott Kelly explores the relationships humans have with animals that share their planet and the exploitation of them. 
Kelly's provocative and message-laden works blurs the line between human and animal. The inspiration for much of her work stemmed from the reading of children's books and fables to her children, her child, rather. This is live. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Things for Kelly have come full circle because her, her son, Finn, who, you know, those, those bedtime story readings uh, really influenced Kelly's work. Now Finn is an incredible artist in his own right and actually just wrapped up a residency with the Knock Knock Children's Museum just around the corner from us. Next up is Rob Carpenter. This piece is titled The Scream is Graphite on Paper. Uh, anybody who's familiar with Rob Carpenter's work knows that lines are incredibly important for him. Um, Rob plays with line to create calculated, eye-pleasing, hand-drawn tapestries. He served as a professor of painting and drawing at Nichols State University from 1991 to 2012. And something a lot of people don't realize about Rob's work, when you see his line work, when you see the different colors um, and styles of line, whether they're dotted or what have you, they're all hand-drawn. It is impressive, uh, a meditative process or something he's described before as meditative. One that makes me think I would go nuts if I even attempted it, but it worked for Rob and, and he creates some great pieces. Okay, this one's Paul Dean, Ancient Angel. This is mixed media. He was born in upstate New York and uh, grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and now lives in Baton Rouge. He's a professor at LSU in their art department, and he's been there for nearly three decades. He recently retired to pursue, pursue his art. He's also a DJ. Next up is Katrina Andre, a New Orleans-based artist. This piece is called Self-Portrait of a Black Woman. Measures 14 by 19 inches. Uh, Katrina's work explores the negative effects of stereotypes on the lives of black people and how these stereotypes give rise to biased laws and ideologies in our society. Just a beautiful piece framed so that you can see both the title and the uh, signature, the artist's signature at the bottom. So thank you to Kat Katrina for being a part of, of the auction as well. This is her first time. Uh, being a part of Kinetics. So we're thrilled to have that uh, work for you to bid on. This is Phyllis Lear, someone you may know, mixed media. In 2005, she received the Visual Arts Fellowship from the Louisiana Division of the Arts and was also the recipient of the Donald F. Derby Endowed Professorship in 2017. She presently teaches at Northwestern State University. The way this is framed with those five pieces, all as one, is just incredible. And obviously, as we make our way through, thank you again to our presenting sponsor this year, Hancock Whitney, back with us again. Thank you to John L. Daniel. Thank you to everybody uh, on the team over at Hancock Whitney. It's a pleasure to have uh, them supporting us as they've supported the arts throughout Louisiana. You might be familiar with their support of uh, White Linen Night down in New Orleans. Um, so it's great for us to have Hancock Whitney supporting contemporary art throughout Louisiana. Next up is Mary Jane Parker. This piece is titled Botanical Leaves. It is an encaustic piece, measures 12 by 36 inches. Her work has been shown nationally and internationally. It is included in the permanent collection of the New Orleans Museum of Art, the LSU Museum of Art, and the Center for Book Arts in New York as well as numerous private collections. She was awarded a Pollock Krasner Foundation Fellowship in 2007, a Louisiana Division of the Arts Fellowship in 1990 and 2001, a National Endowment for the Arts Southern Feder Arts Federation Award for Excellence, and an NEA Independent Study Fellowship. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Makes me feel less good about the day I had. <laughs> Again, every piece you're seeing opens up at $100, and you can begin bidding tonight. This is Steve Schmidt, Dance of Enchantment, a mixed media piece. Uh, Steve Schmidt's works evoke the indefinable instead of the defining the obvious. 
Schmidt's work by offering the viewer intuitive meaning from shared experiences establishes a communion with his felt rather than reason. His abstract work calls on the ineffability of nature as a driving force behind them. Next up is David Horton, another longtime Baton Rouge Gallery artist member. Um, He'll correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong, but I believe he's been a part of the gallery since 1985. Uh, this piece is titled Lady's Choice. It is oil on canvas, measuring 36 by 36 inches. Uh, David Horton's work uses subconscious symbolism to imbue objects with a mysterious quality that asks the viewer to sort out the situation presented. For more than 27 years, he taught art and design at LSU, Arizona State University, Mississippi State University, and Nichols State University. One of the things that's interesting about his work is every single thing in it, the fish, the mask, the cake, every uh, piece of the imagery all has a specific meaning. He is uh, very deliberate in the symbols um, and kind of has a, even has a written out dictionary of what these symbols mean and the weight that they carry within the image. So. Always a favorite at Kinetics. This one's by Teresa Herrera, uh, Hope of a Tree. It's acrylic on canvas. Uh, she's a multimedia artist who often focuses on socially conscious subject matter. Her art is informed by her Mexican ancestry, sacred geometry, cosmograms, mandalas, labyrinths, and Mayan hieroglyphs. She creates form by using transparent and overlapping waves of colors, and materials and works that range from geometric abstraction to surrealism. I can't wait to talk to her because uh, I uh, specialize in pre-Columbian Mesoamerican art, so I'm looking for what she focuses on a bit. I guarantee it will be an enjoyable conversation. Uh, next up, another excellent conversation was actually Jackie Parker. Uh, this piece is called Leaving Andalusia. Uh, it is a, a little bit of an older piece for Jackie, uh, if I recall correctly. And again, I'm, I'm sure she'll correct me if I step all over this, but uh, I believe from 2002, uh, this is a mixed media on canvas piece measuring 48 by 36. Um, what one thing some don't uh, realize about Jackie is that in addition to being a visual artist, she is also a poet. Um, and her work is inspired by the correspondence between uh, her work as a painter and as a poet. She views collage as a mode of perception and finds that it facilitates her exploration of language, history, and ephemera. Her work evolves as a visceral construction of psychic and emotional space. This is one of the, the larger pieces in kinetics this year. And again, regardless of size or the artist behind the work, every piece in kinetics starts at $100. So we encourage you to head over to batonrougegallery.org slash kinetics, get registered, and start bidding. One's by Malika Favorite, titled Prom Queen Number Three. It's a mixed media piece. <clears throat> Malika works in a variety of different media, allowing her flexibility based on the nature and purpose of the work. In recent years, Favorite has experimented with an assortment of surface treatments and forms to create eye catching, two dimensional works that move beyond the typical square or rectangular frame of a single piece. Next up is a gorgeous bright yellow piece from Kathleen Lemoyne titled Waste Not, Want Not. This is acrylic on panel. You can see the, the interesting shapes that she's playing with. Uh, Kathleen has exhibited her work regionally and nationally. Residencies and conference brought her to North Adams in Provincetown, Massachusetts and Jemez Springs, New Mexico. Honors include a National Endowment of the Arts Fellowship as well as grants from the Louisiana Division of the Arts. Her work has been featured in New American Paintings, in Caustic Works 12, a biennial international juried exhibition in print, and Authentic Visual Voices, Contemporary Paper, and in Caustic. Also a, a longtime artist member who has not been afraid to experiment, try different things. And it's been a thrill to watch her, her artwork evolve over time uh, and over different exhibitions here at the gallery. This work is by Sam Lasavio. Over the past 30 years, Sam's work has explored the interplay between opposing visual elements and eccentric asymmetrical compositions. Primarily focused on form, his work is deeply influenced by science 
and a process that celebrates intuition and discovery as an end in itself. Next up, we're coming to the end, so we're going to finish strong. Next up is Christy Denise Lithman. This is a, another encaustic piece. This is encaustic and mixed media on panel, measuring 17 by 17 inches. Christy's work focuses on her longstanding appreciation of nature's pattern, textures, and nuances of color and form. Her encaustic and acrylic paintings seamlessly blend her memories of specific places with landscapes conceived out of her own subconscious. And this would be one of those pieces where I don't know if the camera is able to do it justice. So please come by the gallery again anytime between noon and six, any day but Monday. And you can see this and all the other works uh, in kinetics in person. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of texture. Yeah. One more time for our sponsors. This year's GLOW sponsors. Thank you to Success Labs, Stun Design, Lady in a Tie, Renee Daigle, and Perkins McKenzie Insurance. Without these uh, companies, without these individuals, Kinetics isn't able to happen, and thus we're not able to bring the kind of arts programming that uh, people know and love from the gallery. So thank you to all of our sponsors yet again. Yes, thank you. So this next piece is by Michael W. Howes, Old Beard Still Dancing at the Ruga Skinned House. It's mixed media. And one of his most recent series of works known as the Block Bullet Assemblage Group. I'm sorry, I'm not from Louisiana. <laughs> I apologize. How uses an array of colored foils and papers to create collage drawings and employs many different materials to create depictions of various herds and rugas uh, represented in the lighter and darker sides of the lock both world. All right, now we're coming to the end. The last piece we're gonna share with you tonight is from Paulo Dufour, this incredible, incredible blown glass piece that sits in the middle of the back gallery and will until November 20th when hopefully you bid and win it. The piece measures 18 by six by five inches. It is titled Royal Cicadas. Paulo's glass vessels continue to develop and hint at an allegorical metaphor. His amorphous and sensuous work conjures up images ranging from the earthy colors of landscapes to primal skin vessels. His work suggests the struggle of the human condition where real conflict and myth evolve. Just a stunning piece, and I promise you this one uh, has to be seen in person to be appreciated. If you think you love it on Facebook Live, wait till you see it in the gallery. All right, so that's it. That's Kinetics. That is the works that you will see, that you will have the opportunity to bid on. Uh, again, the bidding is open now. Every single piece that we've shown you tonight starts at $100 and goes up from there. Um, you've got the opportunity to really jump in early, get, uh, get involved, get your bidding going, and hopefully plan to take home a piece uh, of local or regional art. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Remember, BatonRougeGallery.org slash Kinetics. Get registered, get bidding, and get ready for November 20th. We'll see you then.